everybody. Paul Gatter here with Powwows.com. Got a fun show tonight. So stay tuned. We'll get started in just a few minutes. Give everybody a chance. Please post in the comments and let me know where you're watching from. Love to see where everybody's from. And don't forget today is you only have a few hours left to enter our 25 Pendleton Blanket giveaway. Tonight I'm going to give you some extra ways to enter, so stay tuned. Staff carrier, Randy Brookshoulder. Randy Brookshoulder from Santa Fe. Danette Hopi and Chani Nations. Right behind them we have our Miss Indian World. Hello Joey. Hello everybody. Post a comment let me know where you're watching. We're going to talk about the history of Powell Hello, Power Power over the last 25 years. Give you some extra ways to enter our 25th anniversary giveaway. Moving on over to Frog Lake, Alberta, Young Spirit. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for being here. It's Paul Gatter with Power Welcoming Power. in our war bonnet dancers, Chief William DePoe. Welcoming in Gathering of Nations, Miss Indian World, Taylor Susan. Welcoming in head dancers for this afternoon session, Pat and Tanya Moore. Pawnee, Oklahoma, Cheyenne Arapaho, El Reno. Oklahoma. Our Miss Indian Rural candidates. Let's acknowledge Miss Indian Rural candidates right here. Wave to them, wave to them. Yeah, West Canada. Representing New Mexico, Representative Choche Torres Small. Welcome, brother, welcome. Albuquerque City Council. American Airlines representatives in the grand entry. Thank you, American Airlines. Albuquerque City Council President, Clarissa Pena. Welcoming in our royalty, representing Hesapawi, Miss Hesapawi Uriah Lillahoop. Welcome! Yeah. Manahu, Manahu. Hello, everybody. I'm Paul Gatter with Powell's.com. Thank you so much for being here with me. It is great to see everybody. I've seen people posting this. Like we've got Kansas, Oklahoma, British Columbia, uh, Texas, Australia watching. Thank you so much for being here. So tonight, I want to tell you, we're celebrating our 25th year here at Powell's.com. And thanks to you guys, it has been an amazing 25 years. So I want to tell you some of the stories of how we got here and some of the things that happened along the way. And don't forget, it is the last day to enter. You only have a few hours left to enter to win one of these 25 Pendleton blankets. This is one of 25 we're giving away, and I'm going to give you an extra way to enter tonight. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you that in just a little while. But don't forget to go enter. Um, there's the there's the link, www.powells.com slash 25. 
that is your way to enter. So do not miss your chance. Um, this is it. Only a few hours left. All right. So before we get started, I do have to say a big thank you to our sponsors over at vaccines.org. Um, oh, and thank you, Juanita. Thank you so much for the support over on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you are able, please go talk to your doctor, your physician, whatever you got to do. Let's get these vaccines. Let's get more people vaccinated so we can continue doing powwows. That is super important. Uh, I'll tell you about where I was this weekend, but let's get our vaccines. Honor our past, be influenced by those who came before us, and rise to make a difference. It's easier than ever before to be a modern day warrior. Let's get vaccinated so we can get back to making history. We can do this. All right, so thanks to vaccine.gov for sponsoring us and helping, reminding us to go get our vaccines. So this weekend, I got to go to my first powwow in two years. I went out to the Morongo powwow out in California. It was great to see everybody again, see some old friends. Everybody got a little grayer, a little older. Um, some people had moved up to senior adults that I thought were in junior adults. You know, we all got a little older. It's, it's all right. I see some people that saying they, they watched the coverage. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, we'll have... I think we got one more webcast scheduled for this year, but it was great being out there. But I will tell you, you know, talking to dancers and talking to everybody out there, there's so much uncertainty now, and there's so many powwows getting canceled again and postponed. We've got to get our vaccine numbers up. So do what you can, wear your mask when you can, um, and let's get our vaccines and let's let's get let's make sure that we don't lose another year of powwow. All right. Um, so there's that. All right. Um, do want to give a couple of shout outs first um, to our Patreons. Those are the people who are making contributions to powwows.com. And I'd love to have you join that part of our community, www.powwownation.com. Because of them, we've been able to hire an editor. We've hired more writers. Um, my wife is now a full-time employee of powwows.com, working mainly on the powwow calendar. So because of that, because of these contrib contributions, we have been able to do some amazing things, um, and these next 25 years are going to be great. So thank you to them, and I would love if you would consider joining that group. Speaking of my wife, <laughs> she is a travel planner as well as working for powwows.com, and if you are looking to do any traveling, uh, she does specialize in Disney and Universal and cruising, so if you're looking for any of that or any of your travel, please head over to southernfamilytravels.com for all of your travel needs. Okay, and don't forget, uh, for those who are just tuning in, I am giving away this Pendleton blanket and 25 others. Check it out. Look how cool this one is. So go over to www.powwows.com slash 25. This is how we are celebrating our 25 years, giving you all 25 Pendletons. What a great way to celebrate, right? But only a few hours left to enter that. So Gigi by the Sea, hey, thanks so much. I appreciate you being here again this week. That's awesome. Let's see. We got Nebraska here. Lots of people joining. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I don't have any more announcements. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, talk about that. Yep, yep. Okay, so I'm going to give you a bonus code, a special way to enter at the end of this. So I want to talk to you a little bit tonight. Won't take long, but I've had lots of people ask me this over the years of kind of how powwows.com got started and how we got where we are. So first, I want to tell you that um, never, ever in my wildest dreams back when I started this website in 1996, um, never did I think that it would become th what it is. Um, and it is because of you all out there, our powwow nation, our community, you guys have been there supporting us really from the start and made this into what it is. Um, but so in 1996, I was in college, I was in grad school and, you know, in some, my free time, I was, um, I was interested, of course, you know, always being a computer guy, um, I was decided I wanted to learn this whole web thing. You know, there was lots of, this was back when the internet was just far, starting. And I was like, I really want to try this. I want to see if I can teach myself how to do these, build these web pages. So I went to Babbage's. Anybody here remember Babbage's store? We actually went and bought software. You didn't download an app on your phone. You actually had to go buy a box. Well, I went to Babbage's and they had this thing. It was literally called internet in a box. And it came with a, a browser because, you know, Computers didn't come with browsers, and it came with a way to build web pages. And so I started building web pages, um, and I focused on two things. In college, I was 
I was in, I had two, at, well, I had lots of interests, but I had two hobbies that I thought I could build some some information about. One, of course, was powwowing because you know I was traveling around the southeast back then. I was starting to um, really go to powwows and, and do some uh, dancing and singing. So I built some pages about that. So and here here's my first screenshot of the night. This page is still out there and it has not been changed since its original form. So here is the other page I built in 1996. There it is. And here, uh, let me flip the screen for Instagram folks to see it. That's it right there. I hope you can see that. It's pretty rough. And so I built one about Star Wars toy collecting. If you have followed me for any time, you know that I am a big Star Wars guy. You can see back on my shelf behind me, there's a Mandalorian helmet. Um, I'm always loving the Star Wars. Oops, sorry, Instagram. I'm flipping the camera all over the place. Um, and so that, that if, you can, if you can zoom in enough, um, I had a two bedroom apartment and two bedrooms. I mean, it was like, it was 400 square feet in two bedrooms. It was pretty small. Um, oh, Stephanie says that her husband was a manager at Babbage's. That is so awesome. Oh man, that is so cool. Um, I spent a lot of time in that store. But my second bedroom in college, when my roommate moved out, that is what I did to it. I took my Star Wars toy collection and I put it in there. Um, I still got most of that stuff. It's, it's actually in the room next to me in boxes. I need to get it out at some point and set it all back up. But anyways, so that was the website I built along with building some pages about, about uh, powwows. And from the beginning, you all started emailing me and asking questions. And I mean, I didn't always know the answer, so I, I needed to find more people to help me. Um, so within the first, really the few months there, um, I found free software. We could build a forums and that's where it all started. When I opened up the forums, dozens and dozens of people, you all came in there and started asking questions and interacting with each other. And the powwows, powwows.com community was born. Um, so from there, I want to just some funny stories and interesting stories along the way that happened. Um, Let's see. I do see your comments, so thank you, Dan. Um, Linda, hello. Thanks for being here. Um, I still can't believe somebody here has actually worked at Babbage's. That is so awesome. Victoria, thank you. I, I am I'm very thankful for you all out there supporting us. Um, hey, Misty, love the icon there. Um, big Disney fan, too. If, if you follow me at all, you know that, too. Um, so one of the things I always point back to is so my wife and I started dating just a year, a couple of years before Powell's.com got started. We actually got married in 1996. So not only is it the 25th anniversary of Powell's.com, it's our 25th wedding anniversary coming up next week, um, October 5th. So happy anniversary to her. And so she's been around Powell's.com from the beginning too. And she's always been that voice of reason for me when I needed questions or whatever. And I can remember in grad school, I mean, if you all, poor college students, right? Remember those days when, you know, spending, spending any kind of big money was, was a big decision. And I had a decision to make. Um, this was early on, probably in 97 or so. Um, I knew that the domain name powwows.com was available. And I was talking to her about it. I was like, you know, I probably should buy it. It would, it would be something I need to do. But it, back then it cost $75. And being that college student, $75 was a major investment. And I debated on this for days of what to do. And when I when I talked to Kelly about it, my wife, she's like, dude, buy the domain name. You got to do that. Just go buy it. And I'll tell you what, that was one of the best early decisions we made. Um, thank you for her to tell him, for telling me to do that. Um, <laughs> where would we have been if we hadn't bought powwows.com? Um, so that was one of the first big decisions we made. That was pretty awesome. Um, thank you. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. I appreciate that. Um, Warren, thank you. Steph, Stephen, thank you. Thank you. Um, so that was kind of one of the f funny stories. I always tell people that that's kind of one of the first things that happened. Um, one of the first big projects we did on powwows.com is, of course, building the event calendar, the powwow calendar. I mean, that's what a lot of people come to us for is our calendar. Um, I reached out to a friend of mine named Drew Dowling, and I'll, I'll try to tell you some of the folks that helped me along the way when I can. Um, so yeah, so Drew Dowling, a friend of mine, um, who's... He went to high school with me. That's how I knew him. And his sister, coincidentally or not, was actually on Chicago Fire last night. She made her acting debut on Chicago Fire last night. So congrats to her. Um, but he uh, he was a programmer and he helped me build the first ever powwow calendar. 
and we used that for several years. So I'm always grateful to Drew for that. Um, had to rewrite it and actually had to teach myself how to code like three or four years later, and I rebuilt the, the second one. Um, so let's see what else happened um, along the way. So another big, big development that happened is when we we kept building those forms, and, and you guys were just crazy on the forms, and we switched to my daughter just got home from marching band practice. Hey, Laura. there she is. Hi. <laughs> um, how was practice? Yeah. Okay. Fine. See you in a minute. Um, so, yeah, so the forms, we, we started using a software called vBulletin. And vBulletin is great software. It's still out there, by the way. We still have the forms out there. It's still pretty active if you want to go and jump into that community. We have a Facebook group, and we have the vBulletin. So forms.powwows.com, it's still out there. Um, in fact, I can bring that up, too. So, but vBulletin really helped us cement having that online community. Um, we actually just upgraded this the other day. Um, so here is our vBulletin site, and you'll see that we have all kinds of forms. You have everything. You can talk about the men's dance styles, women's dance styles. If you're, um, you just want to chit chat with friends, we've got a place to do that, too. Um, got a place to post any kind of memorials you want to do. Um, so over the years, we now have 674,000 members, um, and there's 112 people right now online talking on the forums still, but the forums were amazing. And, um, I've met so many people, um, from the forums, made so many good friends this, this weekend at Morongo, Ryan, who went with me, he was a moderator on the forum is where I got to know him. Michael, who runs some of our webcasts by himself out there. Uh, he lives in Minnesota. He, I met him through the forums. He was one of our mods too. Um, so that was that was really a place where a lot of us got to know each other. Thank you, Connie. Thank you all. I pre really appreciate this. Um, Sassy, hello, hello. <laughs> Gigi, thank you. Yep. Uh, proud of her so much. Um, uh, Instagram says no audio. Uh, let's see. I hope this helps. Hope it's better. Um, all right. But yeah, a couple of things, interesting things that happened on the forums. One of the cool stories is Instagram has no sound. Can you hear me now, Instagram? Hello, hello. Audio went out on Instagram. Is this any better? Let me know. Okay. So on the forums, one of the weird things that happened, we had this guy come on here um, and start talking about how he was an elder and he really built up a, a, a big following on there and was telling people um all this stuff uh okay let's see how is that any better instagram sorry about that um and he started like preaching to people and saying all this kind of stuff it was so weird um to the point and then it got he started getting mean and started being really uh divisive in the forums um, and it was weird. And so I ended up having to ban him and people got mad about it. Um, and it turns out, uh, like a year later, his parents called me and they, when they found out about it, it was actually like a 14 year old kid just pretending. Um, so weird. Okay. So Instagram still says they still have no sound. All right. So I am going to, I'm going to end the Instagram and start it over. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Um, thanks for being here, though. And let me restart the Instagram. So weird. Okay. But yeah, another another cool... I mean, the forums, we had so much fun on there, and so I'd love for you to come over there and check that out. I remember one of the funnest things we used to do, we used to have these crazy contests. Like, one we had we do this periodically is we would say like who could post the most in one thread in a 24 hour period. And you'd have people stay up all night just posting like crazy. And it'd be like 5,000 posts after a day. It was crazy. Um, but that was super fun. Um, the forums also helped us. Um, we, we held a couple of contests back then. Um, this was back when uh, American Idol just got started. So we actually partnered with Rusty Gillette over at drum hop. And we had a powwow idol. And so drum groups sent in um, recordings and we had different rounds in voting and you got to select like who your favorite drum was. Uh, and at the end of it, they got a record deal with Rusty and Drum Hop and uh, actually 
got a CD produced. That was super, super cool. Um, where can I get one of those sounds in the background? So I actually had that made on Etsy. Um, yeah, you can. There's there's some guys on Etsy that make some metal signs. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the forms were super fun. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the forms in just a minute. Um, so in 2004 was another really big year um, for powwows.com. Something really cool happened that year. That was the first year we ever streamed a powwow. And I don't, I don't know if I've ever told the whole story of what happened. Um, it was. I got a phone call probably in, um, it was Red Earth, so it was in June. So I probably got a call maybe in May from the Harjo family, um, Tani Harjo and her mother. And <laughs> Gigi by the sea, can't multitask. I'm struggling with it tonight, but I'm trying. Um, oh, and Catherine watching from Malaysia. Thank you so much for being here. That's awesome. Um, what powwows you go to or show live? So last weekend we showed the Morongo powwow. Our next one that's scheduled is Choctaw powwow, which is in Durant, Oklahoma. That one will be uh, end of November, December time frame. Um, we normally do a lot more, but you know it's COVID and things are crazy. Um, Molly on Instagram, thank you so much for the support over there. Um, so yeah, so the the Harjo family called me in May, and they were also on the forums, and that's kind of so I knew who they were. Um, D Williams, thank you for the the badge over there on Instagram. Um, and they called me and said, "Look, we're we're really into rodeos and powwows, and on the oh, Tony did a lot of rodeo stuff." He said, "On the rodeo circuit, they've been doing this streaming thing where they actually show the powwow live on the internet." And she's like, "Can you do that for us? Can you come out to Red Earth and do that?" Like, I have no idea how that works, no clue if I can do that. Um, but I said, let me, let me, let me figure it out. And maybe it says something we can do. So I started looking into it, figuring out the technology. Gregory Scott, thank you so much. A lot of support over there on Instagram. Thanks guys. Um, but really started, um, working on it and trying to figure out how the whole streaming thing was going to work. Um, all right. I'll tell you the rest of that in just a question, but in just a second, but do see some questions. Christy, have we ever streamed live from Minnesota? Yes. We, um, uh, for a few years, we streamed the Shakopee powwow, um, we didn't do that this year, but yeah, we do that occasionally. Uh, Crystal wants to know if there are any powwows coming up in Florida. So uh, I don't know offhand, but head on over to www.powwows.com slash Florida, and you'll see all of those. Um, Donna, thank you for the support. Jeff, thank you for the badge over on Instagram. Molly says she needs a new short. She's worn hers through. <laughs> We've got some cool new shirts, too. Um, shoot me an email, Molly, and I'll, I'll tell you where those are. Oh my goodness, there is an old time forum person that just jumped on Instagram. Hello, friend. What's up, amigo? That is awesome to see you out there. Um, he was on the forums way back when. Um, and so I got another question. How did I enjoy Morongo? Morongo Pow Wow was fantastic. Um, loved being out there. It was great to be back. Um, seeing seeing a powwow in person, being there, watching a grand entry, amazing. I uh, really did miss it. Um, so yeah, so I was figuring out this whole webcasting thing. And so I called him back up and I was like, look, I think I, I think I've got this thing figured out. I think I can stream it, but here's the problem. Red Earth Powwow is on the same weekend that one of my good friends is, is having his wedding in South Carolina and I'm in the wedding. I'm one of his groomsmen and I've already committed to it. You know, we've been planning this thing for months. I've been up to all of the festivities going up to it. I can't miss his wedding. That's Saturday of Red Earth. I said, so I just don't know this thing's going to work. And Tawny was insistent. She's like, nope, we can make this work. I said, okay, I don't know how, but we can, uh, we'll, okay. So they flew me in Friday morning, went straight to the powwow, set up, streamed it all day long, flew out Saturday morning early. Um, like, I think I got to the air, my flight left at like six. I got back to Columbia, drove to the wedding. I was actually the first person there at the church. So I beat everybody there. Um, but yeah, that, that powwow was super fun to stream. And that's how our whole streaming got started right there in 2004 at Red Earth. Um, so it was always awesome to get to go back to Red Earth. Hope, hope we can go back and stream that one again in the future. Um, but that was a big turning point in powwows.com. You know, we now we stream uh, during non-COVID times. I think the last last year, like 2019 was probably our last full year. We, we, 
we streamed over 15 powwows, I believe. Um, uh, so I go to some of those. And of course, like I said, Michael and Ryan helped me out. Uh, in 2021, I'm telling you, we're going to try to hit even more of those. Uh, so be on the lookout for our announcements about that. And thanks to our patrons. That's one of the things we're trying to do with our patrons over there is to, to raise enough funds that we can that I can get Michael and Ryan out on the road more and send them to even more powwows. So, again, appreciate your support on Powwow Nation. Um, always appreciate that. Um, okay, a couple other things about powwows.com that happened. Um, so, over the years, thank you, Paula. Thank you for the congrats on the 25 years. I really appreciate that. Um, so, we also started several other sub-sites along the way. Somebody actually emailed me the other day about one of them. Does in, anybody here, was anybody here part of my tribal space when we had that? This was before Facebook allowed anybody to join. It was back when you, you had to be a student to join Facebook. Um, and so social networking was just coming on. So we built, we used some software. We built a social network. <clears throat> we called it My Tribal Space, and it blew up, had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of members. Um, and I got an email just last week. Somebody emailed me and said, look, hey, are, are you the website that used to host my tribal space? And I was like, yeah, that's us. Um, and she said, oh, is there any of that still out there? I would love to see some of our old messages and things like that. And I said, no, it's all gone. You know, Facebook kind of killed that. She said, oh, it's too bad. Um, she said on, she was on the website and she started talking to a guy and they kept in touch for years through my tribal space, lost touch for a few years. And then just recently in the last couple of years, reconnected and got married and they had met on my travel space so that was super cool to hear even just last week that that old site was still was still making an impact um a <laughs> little bit says bring it back yeah um it was a really fun site that was it was really cool to have our own kind of private social network um preston wants to know what and when is the next powers you're going to stream so we will be streaming the next one planned is durant in choctaw oklahoma if everything goes correctly um so just keep your fingers crossed that all that's going to stay stay good. That's going to be uh, latter part of November or early part of December. I don't have the date handy, um, but we do have 2021. I'm hoping we're going to get to even more. Uh, we will be at Gathering of Nations. That will be in person this year in April. So that is the biggest powwow. We will be there streaming that live. Um, so a couple more stories before I get to telling you about the how you can get extra entries into the Pendleton Blanket. Another big thing that happened for us, it, this whole time powwows.com through the first years, it was just um, it was just something I ran. It wasn't um, an official business or anything like that. But we had tri my tribal space going, and it was doing really well. And people were asking for a way to connect and, and find other people to date. So I said, okay, well, we can do that. So we built a site called eSnag um, and had actually got people to send me wedding, <clears throat> wedding invitations that they had met on on our eSnag site. Hey, thanks so much. The Pin Pirate, thank you for supporting us with the badge over on Instagram. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we decided to open this dating site. And this is another moment that my wife, Kelly, um, made a big, pivotal decision for Powell's.com. She said, look, if you're going to run a dating site, there's probably a good chance that somebody is going to get upset with something you do. Um, and so you probably don't need to be running this as just a personal thing. You probably need to incorporate this thing just in case somebody gets really upset. I was like, you know, that's probably a, that's probably a good idea. So that was when powwows.com actually became a corporation and we became a business. Um, so again, she was pretty awesome and pivotal in all these years. Um, so it's kind of cool that she became the first uh, full-time employee of Palos.com just recently. Um, I, see, I see a comment says, I don't remember if you last week at Morongo, I was asking, oh yeah, so this, you were emailing and wanting to sing with somebody. Yeah, so you, oh, that's great. I'm glad you found somebody. That is great. Um, little bit of Angelina, thank you so much for the badge. That is awesome. Thank you over there on Instagram. Um, Gigi by the Sea says, oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad that... Uh, the live stream uh, had uh, had that made you get that feeling. That's awesome. Um, so th this weekend, it's, you asked me what my favorite parts of, of Morongo were. So I always love D Williams. See you later. Thank you for the support, man. Um, 
I always love going to Morongo to see the birds singing and dancing. That is something you just don't get to see everywhere. So I loved seeing that again. And it was good this year. They had some really good dancers and singers. That was awesome to watch. Um, Sunday, uh, Vern, the sound guy, um, did a special round dance and uh, did some giveaways there. So it was cool to get to do a see a round dance right there in Morongo too. That's not something, again, not something you get to see very often. Gigi by the sea. Yes. Yes, she is. Kelly is awesome. Um, all right. So I'll tell you about one other story that was really big in the whole development of where powwows.com is now. So I told you that our V bulletin was going nuts and really getting a lot of traffic and it was awesome to see. But then Facebook happened. And of course, people started leaving the forums because they were, Facebook was so much easier to use and more engaging. There was, of course, millions of people there. Um, and you can interact with people all over the world, not just um, people in our little, even with hundreds of thousands of members, it was still a small group compared to Facebook. And I can remember there were there was lots of months there where the revenue for Powell's.com you know, wasn't paying for itself anymore. Um, we, it was losing money. Um, and people were emailing. I, I, I wish I had saved these emails, but people were actually emailing go say on the forums and saying, look, man, it's been a fun few years, um, but this is it, man. Powell's.com is dead, um, but enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for all the time. See ya. Um, and that was really hard. That was it was probably a hard, really hard year for us and really trying to figure out what, what we were going to do. Um, but again, you guys came through and it was, you know, what we shifted our focus and instead of um, just being really uh, about the forums, and that was really where... The forums and the calendar were the only places we were putting resources as far as powers.com was going at that point. So that's when I started hiring writers and getting some original content developed. We switched over and opened a Facebook page. Um, and you guys, you guys found us and exploded us on social media. And here we are today with over 750,000 of you following us on Facebook. Our Facebook group has 78,000 people in it. Uh, our main Facebook group, we have two others that are still are, are huge too. And so I was glad to see that Palos got, we didn't die. We, we thrived in that and we made it through that dark time, but it's because of you guys. I always keep saying that. Um, so thank you. So that's a little bit of the story of Palos.com. And here's where we are 25 years later, celebrating with you, giving away 25 Pendleton blankets, last day to enter, um, and we are going to do some other things throughout the, the next few months to celebrate. But our big giveaway is ending soon. So please go enter to win that. All right, I see some other questions. I want to make sure I get that. Um, hello from Omaha. Hey, Janet. Hello, hello. Gigi says, yeah, enjoyed the bird singing. Yes, it was awesome. Um, have you guys ever considered an actual TV network or streaming service? Um, God, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, you know... So some of our streams have been big, but not, you know, not big enough to be on a network. Um, we went to Skimitzen and that one was really cool where they had TV producers and all kinds of other stuff there, but still it was on just the, just on the internet and um, broadcast by the tribe. Uh, a little bit of Angelina says, do we have a podcast? Yes, we do have a podcast. The Pow Wow Life Podcast. I just started that back up recently. We've got about four or five new episodes out. Go check that out. Um, Cedar Boxes wants to know where you go to enter. So www.powwows.com slash 25 is where you go enter the contest. Um, yeah, I forgot what else came. But, oh, about the TV networks. I, you know, I, I don't know if we uh, will attract the attention yet of Pow Wows or of, of a TV network to broadcast Pow Wows, but... Um, but with things like Reservation Dogs and Rutherford Falls, uh, indigenous stories are starting to be seen by mainstream media. So who knows? Maybe we'll see some clips of powwows hit hit the news one night. Maybe uh, you know NBC Nightly News or something. That would be amazing. Um, Mabel, thank you. I appreciate you you coming here and hear, listen to me ramble on. Um, but I did want to share that while we're celebrating our twentieth twenty fifth anniversary. Just tell a little bit of the story and the history. Um, and some of those people that helped us along the way, Kelly being one of them, um, 
the Harjo family, of course, and then all of you guys that were out there on the early forums, and now all of you that are here with us um, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, hey, and we, we started TikTok too, so come on over and check us out on TikTok. Um, but yeah, guys, that that's so that's the story of powwows.com. Some of the stories, there's lots more to tell, but that's just some of what we've done over these 25 years. All right, so as promised, here it is. Here's your bonus code to enter. You get, you get 25 extra entries. Go use this code. You got to use it tonight because tomorrow the contest is going to end and we're going to draw those 25 names. So enter t the bonus code is 2719. 2719. Go to www.powers.com slash 25 and that is where you will go and get your entries into the contest. Stephanie says Netflix would totally go for it. You know, that would be awesome if we could get Netflix to do like I, what my dream has always been, honestly, is I would love to see a reality show um, that followed a drum group on the road for a summer. I think that would be super fun to watch um, and see, you know, especially like a young drum group um, and seeing how they kind of uh, made it through the summer, earning money and um, the struggles and the ups and downs. That would be cool. Amigo, so go over to www.powels.com slash 25 and enter that 2719. That's where you're going to get entered. A um, little bit of Angelina. Thank you so much for being here. Um, appreciate it. I'll see you later. Uh, Tony, or Tony um, thank you. Appreciate the badge over there. That's awesome. All right, guys. So I'll stick around for a few more minutes here and answer any more questions or comments. Um, I do want to remind you, um, besides the contest, so several people asking about powwows. Um, if you are interested... Oh, gosh, you know what I didn't do? I had screenshots. Here, we got to do this. Here is powwows.com through the ages. Here is the earliest screenshot of powwows.com that I can find. Tony, it was too fast. www.powwows.com slash 25, and the bonus code is 2719. So Instagram, I'm going to turn you around so you can see. So this is the earliest version of powwows.com I could find. Um, you'll notice that I've always used the ribbon work pattern. Um, in all the stuff we do, I, I I make my own ribbon work, so I've always been fascinated with the patterns that you can make using ribbon work. So I always incorporate that. So that's that was from 1999. That was the earliest one I could find using the Wayback Machine out there on the internet. This one is from later in uh, 1999. Um, it's changed a little bit. This was one of our early logos. Um, I thought it was a cool logo because it had the traditional dancer there holding the dance staff uh, with the feathers dangling down, but uh, so many people couldn't figure out what it was, so we stopped using that <laughs> um, after a while. And then let's see, and this is uh, that's the same thing, just a little bit different. Uh, this one is from 2008, so we shifted um, a little more graphics heavy. Um, and did some, this is when Flash was big on the website and we were doing all kinds of stuff like that. You can see all these other little websites we had going back there, the My Trouble Space and all that stuff. Um, and let's see, this one is from 2015, just a few years ago. Um, what powwows.com looked like. Very similar to what it is now. And so now, um, now we have the, the powwows.com. Here's what it looks like nowadays. Uh, and we are working on a major renovation to the website that will be coming out later, probably uh, first part of 2022. Okay, so I forgot about those screenshots, but I did want to show because I thought those were kind of cool um, to be able to go back and see some of that stuff. Um, all right, a couple more comments. So will we be streaming any traditional powwows or just contests? So that's a great question. Right now, we are only streaming contest powwows because those are the committees that are bringing us in to do it. Um, we, you know, we can't just show up at a powwow and start streaming. There's resources we need. Of course, the committee has to sign off on it because we are, you know, shooting footage and there's liability and all that kind of stuff. So um, we do have contracts or whatever with these powwows that we go to. So usually, it's only the contest powwows that that really want to invest that time and effort into it. But like I said earlier, our Patreon, we are trying to grow that side of the business um, to where we can send out some teams to stream other powwows, not just the contest. We want to be able to go out to to some of those traditional powwows that that um, we're not getting to be, we're not showing footage of now. We want to be able to go out and show those stories and tell the you know tell those kind of stories and show those dancers and singers that are out there. 
Um, so that is what we're trying to do. So in, we would appreciate that help, of course. PowwowNation.com is where you can go and help us for that. But good question. Mabel says, before I go, if, are there any Canadian powwows? Okay, so that was what I was going to show. So if you go to our website, um, you can, of course, click on calendar, and it will take you to a calendar. Oh, sorry, let me flip over so you can see this. So if you go to our website and click on calendar, it will take you to the homepage of our calendar where you can do searches and all that kind of stuff. Um, but in a better way to do it, I think a lot easier way, if you just Google powwows in my state, that will take you to a special page that we've built to make all of this a little easier. And so this will take you to a listing, and I've got links to every state. And we'll scroll down here, see there's every state. I'm scrolling fast so I can get to your stuff, Mabel. And down here at the bottom, here is the list of, come on, here's list links to all of the powwows we have in the Canadian provinces. I'm not sure where you live, but let's click on Manitoba because I know there's some up there, although a lot of these have been canceled. Um, Ron, thank you so much. I appreciate the support, man. That's great. So here's Manitoba. We're going to scroll down. They did have one in September uh, in Portage. And Manitowabi, that one was a virtual powwow that we helped them put on. Winnipeg, there's gonna, there was one in May of 2020. We do, we're keeping some of the old ones out there so just so people can see what did happen in the past. Um, but the other thing you can do, Mabel, and those all of those that are looking, we created shortcuts for every state and province. So if you just type in www.powwows.com slash Manitoba, and I didn't, yeah, I did spell that right. So any state or province you can do that with, if it's a two name, like I'll do mine, www.powwows.com slash South Carolina. It's just a dash in between South and Carolina, all lowercase. And those shortcuts will take you right to the pages um, that have powwows just in those um, areas. Yeah, the powwow here near me was canceled for November. Um, I see Paula saying the same thing. Powwows are close to them getting canceled because of COVID. Yeah, I know. It's it's terrible. I, I really didn't think Morongo was going to happen uh, when I bought my plane ticket. Um, the lady at Morongo said, okay, I'm glad you got your plane ticket, but um, you did buy that refundable, right? <laughs> it's like, well, let me go make sure. She said, because uh, we don't know. We still don't know. This is like two months to go, so we still don't know for sure. Um, but they did, were, they were able to have it, so that was fantastic, and getting out there again was just great. Um, but yeah, if you go over www.powers.com slash your state name or your province name. That's a great way to take you right to those pages. And like I said, Kelly is working on that now. And she's spending a lot of time uh, making sure we have all of the information up to date as possible. Um, Paul says, you know, the one in South Carolina. Yep, I know. Um, the Waccamaw Powwow was canceled. Um, looks like the one in Rock Hill was changed. Um, what else is going in South Carolina? Yeah, a lot of them are, are still getting canceled. I know. It's sad. But hey, guys, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate your support. You, you all being here and listening to me tonight was awesome. It was glad to re remember some of these things and kind of uh, be nostalgic for a night. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and so he says on Instagram, so glad you enjoy your first powwow. Yeah, man, it was, it was great. I mean, just, just, and I had to go this one by myself because my wife and daughter had things going on, but hoping they can travel with me again soon too. Um, but yeah, just being back on the road was fun. Um, you know, I hadn't flown in, forever um two two years um so yeah being back and um seeing ryan getting to do that again i got to visit with uh, some of the folks out there clayton and tammy with cnt tabulator it was great to see them uh wayne silas i saw rusty gillette and um who else was out there uh, adam nordwall was out there um the mcs were great to visit with them um yeah and, and seeing some of those drums oh, i think somebody asked me earlier what the best drums were there um, man, there, there was some sharpshooter was sounding great. Uh, wild band, Kozad. Oh, there was some fantastic groups. Brooke, my daughter has joined the Instagram stream. Hey, Brooke, everybody give her a wave. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really, there was some good singing this weekend. Um, and some of these categories were stacked. Um, it, they had a, I think they said they had 450 registered dancers this year at Morongo. So it was a lot bigger than, um, than the 2019 version. So that was really cool to see. Um, good contest and good dancing. The head staff out there ran it really well. Um, so can't wait to be back out there again. And if you're in California, I highly recommend checking that one out. I mean, just going to that resort alone, it is a 
four diamond triple A rated resort. Incredible food, great service, um, and the resort is absolutely beautiful. They've renovated the rooms since I've been there, so that was really cool to walk into a, a brand new room. Um, Ryan stayed in the in the casino for the first time this year, uh, and uh, he he texted me like, "Man, these these things are awesome." Uh, Stephanie says, "Have a great night. Thank you so much." It's 3 a.m. Stephanie, where are you again? It's 3 a.m. Whoa. Roy, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. Again, thank you so much for letting me go down memory lane. Uh, I cannot wait to see what the next 25 years is going to be. And hey, for sticking with me, let me give you all a sneak peek preview. So one of the groups we partnered with, and that's part of it too. One of the groups we partnered with, Paku out in California, um, as a thank you for doing some work for them, they made this for us, along with some beaded earrings. This is going to be the giveaway, the prize next month. Our contest will be for this ribbon skirt. So, special sneak peek after we give away these 25 Pendleton blankets. This is what you'll be, uh, this is what the next contest will be. Let me see if I can grab these earrings. Here's one of them. Um, really nice stuff. So, that contest will be coming up in just a few days to win that awesome skirt and the earrings. Thank you to those guys for doing that. But don't forget, you still have a few hours. Go enter the contest. Make sure you get entered. www.powells.com slash 25. Don't miss it. Misty, yeah, it is awesome. I love the colors, the fabric. They did a really great job. <laughs> Paula's, yeah, it's it's beautiful. So that will be our giveaway starting in October. So be, be sure to come back for that. And November... We've got another really great contest planned. I'm working with a, a partner on that one too. Cross your fingers. That one's going to be pretty awesome if it all works out. But again, guys, I'm Paul Gatter at powwows.com. Um, thank you for being here and watching. It was great to visit with you. We'll be live again next Thursday night, 9 o'clock on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Um, you can also make, be sure you subscribe to our newsletters. That is the best way to find out what's going on with Powell's.com. So head on over and sign up for that. But with that, I'm going to say good night. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, excited we get to go see Brooke. Can, um, we got a big rival football game tomorrow night. And then Saturday is her first band competition of the weekend. So everybody say a little prayer for her that we're, that they do well. And uh, for first of all, it doesn't get canceled for any kind of stupid COVID stuff that's going on. Hope everybody's taking care of themselves. And... We can have the contest and, and hope they have a great performance. Um, okay, so people asking, where do you enter? www.powwows.com slash 25. That's where you go to enter the contest. Um, can you enter for that if you win? If Hey, yeah, if you, Misty, if you win one of the blankets, you can still enter to win the, the, the skirt. That's fine. Hey, thank you for the good luck on the band competition. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. We've got a full weekend. So I'm excited to do that. That's where I will be this weekend. And then next week, um, next week I'm super excited too because uh, I've talked about this before, but um, the I'm really into disc golf now. Um, and so the United States Disc Golf Championships is actually happening just a couple hours from me. So all the professionals are coming to this area. So I'm going to go get to watch some high-level disc golf. Uh, Leah Sinegeni, who we interviewed on the show a few weeks ago, who is a professional disc golfer and tours on the professional circuit. Uh, she's going to be up there, so I'm going to spend some time with her. We're actually trying to um, plan a clinic for some of the kids up there to teach them how to play. Um, so hope, I'm hoping that's going to work out too. Um, but yeah, that's where I'll be next week, watching the USDGC disc golf. Anyways, thank you, everybody. Paula, thank you. Alton, good night. Lauren, thank you, thank you. Hey, guys, y'all have a wonderful night. Jennifer, thank you for sending the stars. Um, have a great weekend. Stay safe, everybody. Take care of your family, and I will see you soon.